that. You can't no fail. They, they, they must have been founding members of, of the Flat Earth Society. They, they would not surrounded this flat, beautiful land. Let's say China. Around when Columbus set sail, they must have been founding members of, of the Flat Earth Society. They, <laughs> I'm open to all sorts of new ideas, maybe better ideas. Jobs and growth, jobs and growth, jobs and growth, jobs and growth. For a meeting of the Flat Earth Society. For a meeting of the Flat Earth Society. And someone else says it's flat. That's worth reporting. This is... The world is flat, the world is round, is what we call science. Society. It's only 150 years ago. The lost in the prayers. And take a picture of the, of the flat Earth and come back. BT dubs in this regard. There is a geometric shape, a, a surface, on which you can travel in any direction and never leave the surface. Anyone? Anyone? A sphere, a ball, an earth. Dude, dudette, there are pictures from space of the earth. What is wrong with you? The ancient Greeks knew that the earth was round. They, see, they saw the shadow of the earth on the moon during a lunar eclipse. What's, why are you three or four or five centuries behind the rest of us? Go out there, take a picture, send it on the internet, carry on. Hey Bill, can you prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the Earth is a sphere and not flat? Because I have a lot of Facebook friends who say that it's flat, and I just can't convince them. Thank you. Is the earth flat or round? Go to the uh, seashore. Go to a seashore and figure out why you can't, if you live on the East Coast, figure out why you can't see Spain from the East Coast of North America. It looks like you might have a, a St. Louis hat on. I'm not sure. Um, just go... Uh, to the middle of the Mississippi River and look south. Why can't you see the Louisiana? Why can't you see New Orleans? What's, what's the problem there? Well, then climb a tower or go to the top of a hill or a mountain and you'll see a little farther, but you will not see to the other side of the earth, places we know to exist. For example, I've been to London. I, I can tell you, other people have. I've been to Vancouver, British Columbia. And you cannot see Vancouver, British Columbia from, from Boise, Idaho, let alone from New York City or Toronto or what have you. Just start there. Then if, you're, if you'd like, look at pictures from space where you see the Earth as a sphere. Those pictures are not faked. And I'll tell you, just if nothing else, here's why you can tell they're not faked. Just to create the paperwork that NASA has created, for in NASA in this one case, just the paperwork to send anything out in space, to send people into orbit or to send them to the moon, that amount of paperwork would make faking it prohibitively expensive. No one could afford to generate that much, that much documentation. Then the other thing, if you want to get into this, if you're really serious, if your friends are really serious, have them get on a boat or a ship and go out at sea, and you'll notice you can't see infinitely far. Furthermore, if you get into it enough, pick up a, a book about navigation or go online and learn about navigation. A very, very important thing you have to take into account when you try to navigate the ocean from a ship or a boat is how high you are off the sea surface. The higher you are off the sea surface, the farther you can see, the farther away the horizon is. Oh my. Now, this discovery that the world is round was made uh, I'm gonna, in 15, it was published in 1540. Now, I'm concerned, it was Copernicus, I'm concerned it might have been 1530, but it was about then. It was in the 16th century that the Earth was shown to be a ball. Uh, but it was known to be a ball by a lot of other people before uh, Copernicus in the Western world, what we now call the Western world, Western Hemisphere.
the ancient Greeks uh, noticed that then 12 hours later in Buenos Aires at night, the curve, the, the shadow is always curved. So the ancient Greeks knew that the earth was a ball. They didn't know to the degree of, the size of it to the degree of precision we know now. And you guys, come on. Everybody watches newscasts. You all use mobile phones. You all see airplanes fly around. You all go to uh, see Ed Sheeran in concert one day in London, another day in Melbourne, Australia. This all depends on our fundamental idea, understanding of the size of the earth and its shape with extraordinary precision. And if you want to get into it, the earth isn't quite a sphere. It's a little bleh. Its spin is a little bleh, stretched. It made it slightly oblate, as the saying goes. This is all susceptible to analysis, but spend some time learning about navigation. Tell your friends to spend some time learning about navigation. Ah. Navigation's changed the world, by the way. What are you wearing? You're wearing stuff that came from another part of the world on a ship. It didn't get here by magic. It got here through science. That's a great question. And I can give you a real science answer. The Earth is not a cube because it has enough stuff. It has enough rocks and metals and water and lava and everything that all pull on each other equally. And this, every time you do that, you get a ball. You get a sphere. Into this. Hey everybody, stop clicking around. I am in the woods uh, with some water going in the background near my It's the world's most well-known secret society. Rich with symbols and ritual, it's a source of legends, parodies, who controls the British crown system and the good old boy network to be able to get away with murder. And I mean murder. Welcome to the world of Freemasonry. How can I not find out more? Oh, I emailed Eric and Bandit Head because I wanted to actually talk about the player stuff. I'm not going to get into it again, but just one quick point. People were talking about they're in the spin of the, the rotation of the Earth and how it affects the blood. Okay. People are using that as proof that the Earth is round and spinning. They don't have to do that with a plane, though? Heavyweight size, fill them up and guzzle till you're satisfied. Big and wide, 10 feet high, 1.8, and I'm feeling right. Yeah, we stack them up high, take them on a drive, put them in a belt hole in one plus five. Damn, that's big. I love my big cups. Big cups. I love my big cups. I love my big cups. I, I, I love my. I love my. Hey everyone, it's me, Bao. Um, it's Kona! Um, we just want to say we hope you love this video. We put a lot of hard work into it. And make sure to like it if you like it. And please share this with three of your friends. For those of you that have friends, share it with three friends. And uh, make sure to comment your favorite part in the comment section. And thank you, Venny Fresh, for sponsoring this video. You can check them out in the description. All right, here it goes, guys. Love you. Mom, I need, I need more friends, you know? Oh. 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 Oh.
so good soon. Come to mama. So good. Look, 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 look. Look. Single moment's thought about my responsibilities. Have you ever thought about? Yeah, I think I, I think I, 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 I,